for experienced talent out there in the market looking for their next thing. Walk me through any advice you have for those individuals, any ideas on how to break through that barrier and get past the 800 other people applying for the job that you're looking for? Yeah, I know it's tough. I, I think that a lot of it has to do with last year's job market. It was brutal. It's not like this year's getting off to any better start. You see a lot of layoffs. I do feel very strongly with going after your own personal network and cultivating those relationships some of this might be cliche, but I, I will tell you that I've talked to a lot of people that have struggled and they're more focused on filling out that 800th application and fr being frustrated instead of trying to go maybe spend that time meeting with someone. So fighting against that and just trying to really go out into the real world and have those conversations will help you more than filling out the 100th application. That being said, there are times to start businesses and there are times to not start businesses. And right now, this is a time where tools are cheap. Time is on your side. Look into your solopreneur ideas or teaming together with some friends that you worked with. Now is an opportunity to start a business and you don't need to be a Silicon Valley startup capitalized with hundred millions, no, billion dollars, whatever of, of VC funding to take off. So I would say that is also something to consider this year is if you even have that itch or maybe you're interested. I know some people be like, heck no, I'm not going to be an entrepreneur. You never know until you really think about it. Something might pop up as an opportunity. Think about the time we're in right now, opportunities like this after economic downturns, while things are still slow, that's an opportunity to, to, to take a next step.